Hey guys, it's Roscoe, and on Space Couch today, I'm going to be reviewing this, The Rising by Ian Tregillis. This is part two of The Alchemy Wars and follows on from the excellent The Mechanical from last year. So this follows the adventures of Jax, the escaped uh, freed clacker, um, in his attempts to... Uh, find other free clackers in northern Canada and also of uh, Berenice who was the French Talleyrand minister until uh, there was an invasion and she lost favour. So it follows the two of them as they try to escape and also trying to find out what's going on. How can they stop the Dutch? You know, cause the Dutch rule this world ever since Huygens came up with the wonder year and when he first built these clackers. So there's more about the... Um, the theology, as it were, and the mysticism uh, in the construction of clackers, you know, trying to decipher the sigils and the hopes of being able to override the metagases. Indeed, and if that happens, it will change the world. Lots of fighting in this one as Montreal, uh, you know, uh, New France, and was it Marseille's in the West, I call it, um, is under siege from the Dutch. And it's not looking good until Jax arrives in the middle of it, you know, and he has a plan. He has found something out because he has met up with the rogue clackers and there are a lot of rogue clackers in the frozen north under the rule of Queen Mab. Unfortunately, she's just as mad as Queen Marguerite of the Netherlands. So it's not so good for Jax. So he has to escape from his own kind. And of course, they're coming after him as well. So everyone is after Jax. Until, of course, he changes his name. He's now known as Daniel. When he got to uh, the Ro Neverland, the rogue uh, encampment, um, part of joining is uh, choosing your own name rather than the, the really long names that they were given, you know, their slave names. So he chooses the name Daniel. And from that point, he is referred to as Daniel in the text. It was a little bit jarring at first because we're so used to him being Jax that he's Daniel. But you get into it quite quickly. So it's a fantastic battle sequence at the end. It's all looking really grim for the French, you know. And I won't give out too many details of it, you know, but let's just say it's very satisfying. And it does end on the note of many clackers having been freed from their, um, their gazers, you know. Berenice had hoped that she was able to overwrite their geezers with one of her own through some uh, stuff that she had acquired on her travels. But Daniel, he um, spotted what she was doing and he changes the plans, and the, the, the sigils and the etchings. So the clackers are free, you know, they're not beholden to anyone but themselves. So it should be very interesting. It closes with um, the king of France asking Bernice what is going on because they're seeing all these clackers who have just been fighting them you know in a bloodthirsty onslaught you know suddenly stop and just start leaving and she says I think it's the end of the world I can't wait for that revolution to spread to Europe and for the Dutch queen to meet her fate and the brasswork throne to be destroyed no doubt that will happen in the third book I don't know when that's out I assume next year or what it's called but I can guarantee you I'll be picking it up it's a fantastic series um, these characters are amazing. And another amazing alternate world that's very believable. The Dutch run early 20th century. It's absolutely fantastic. You should also check out Ian Tregillis's Bitter Seeds trilogy, which I have read. It's absolutely brilliant. Set in the Second World War with mysticism and magic and dark forces. Anyway, guys, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.